there, my name is Linda Jo Martin, the book lady, and this is my page 112 tag. This is my first page 112 tag ever, and I got these books from the library. I didn't have anyone send me a page 112 so I could do it completely anonymously, but I went to the library and determined to get the first three books on the top shelf of the new fiction section. And unfortunately, one of those was a book of short stories and had nothing whatsoever on page 112. So I chose a different book and came home with three books. I am not familiar with any of these no novelists. I don't know them. Book one, page 112. Oh, she says, she finds your eyes again and cups her arms around your shoulders. Well, in any case, you will come back. I can't tell you how I've missed you. But you say, but what, love? For the first time, you're beginning to feel annoyed with this woman for making you say everything out loud. But what about my father? Silence. Yulka doesn't seem like a big fan of it, but it's what she offers in response to your question. So he doesn't want to see me, you say? It's not that, she said. That's what it sounds like, you say. But it's not right, she says, dropping her head into her hands. I just don't know what to say. Maybe this is what we talk about next time? You'll come back next weekend, maybe? Maybe, you answer. It's a response that seems to both encourage and devastate her but it's at least gentler than what you're really thinking, which is that she's perfectly nice, this Tato Yulka, and you could maybe make room for her someday, but you didn't come here looking for another maternal figure, a great aunt to supplement your mother and Greta and Mamie, even if Yulka can at least offer magical pastries and photos of people you sort of resemble. The little morsels she fed you, those pieces of sweet fried dough don't have the kind of sustenance that you're hungry for. There's a whole feast for you somewhere in Texas, and like a hunter, you have to track it. Book number two, page 112. Friends close, enemies closer. I wouldn't imagine I was either, yet. You like this area? It's still a little dicey. It's growing on. Brown had pulled her pistol and killed the engine. It was then that Decker saw what she already had seen. Two men were stuffing another man into the trunk of a car. Brown was out and sprinting toward them before Decker even got his car door open. Federal agent, hands in the air, she barked, her pistol pointed at the men. One ducked down behind the car. The other pulled a gun. Before he could turn and fire, Brown had dropped him with two bursts of her pistol. The next instant, she was bowled over and pinned to the pavement by a huge weight. What the? she gasped. The rounds ripped through the air right above her. The man who had ducked down was firing from behind the car with an AK-47 assault rifle. Decker, who had knocked Brown down when he saw the AK pointing her way, rolled off her, sprawled on his belly, took aim, and fired at various spots under the car. The scream told him that at least one of his rounds had hit the shooter in the ankle or foot. As the man fell beside the car, grabbing his leg and screaming, Decker emptied his mag at the same narrow space separating the bottom of the car from the asphalt. The screams stopped. Brown and Decker leapt up. When they raced over and peered around the rear of the car, the man was no longer moving. There was blood all around him, and the AK was lying next to him. As Decker knelt down next to him, the man remained still. Brown pointed to the entry wound on the side of the man's head. You got him in the leg. But this was the kill shot. <laughs> Let me try again. <laughs> Brown pointed to the entry wound on the side of the man's head. You got him in the leg, but this was the was the kill shot. Good aim. 
she added coolly. That was really hard to read. It's just so bad. So bad. Book number three, page 112. Excuse me? Most of the migrants I see have been assigned public defenders, Grace said, and yet here you are from a top tier firm. So I'm just wondering who's paying you. As part of my firm's commitment to public service, we have taken five cases partially pro bono. I see, and who pays the rest? The Tamil Alliance, a not-for-profit community group has hired us, Gigavaz said, and two lawyers, Grace said. Gigavaz always arrived with a young woman in tow. She took notes but said nothing. Grace had never given her much thought, just assumed she was some kind of secretary. Now the girl spoke up. I'm a law student. I see, a law student. She squinted at Grace. I'm also Sri Lankan, she said. And as a Sri Lankan, I can tell Mrs. Singh that it is pronounced Thali, not Tali. The student put her hands under the table quickly. Singh said, our expert. The student cut her off. Well, where is it? She pulled an amulet from under her shirt. This was my mother's tholly. My mother was a citizen, not a terrorist. Show us our client's tholly and let's compare. The words tumbled out in a trembling rush, and Grace was bolstered by the knowledge that there was someone else in this room who felt out of her depth. Singh spoke directly to Grace. Our intelligence suggests this is a specific tolly, not the generic one that formalizes all marriages. As I said, this one is only given to LTTE members. To signify the husband's bravery, it has two tiger teeth with a tiger symbol in the middle. The student spoke a little louder. I'm Tamil and I'm telling you there's no such thing as a tiger tholly. Singh turned to her. Do you know that for sure? When was the last time you were in Sri Lanka? The student banged her fist on the table and the sketch artist startled. You can't even pronounce it right, she yelled. So how would you know? The reporters were thrilled. This was the most exciting thing to So first impressions. I can tell you without a doubt, I would not read book number two, which is The Fix by David Baldassi, D-A-C-C-I, Baldassi, Baldaki, I don't know if the C is hard or soft, but I can tell you I would not read this book. I could not even get through that page with all the violence without laughing because it seemed like something I would be watching on television on a like crime fiction show of some kind and that's the kind of show I never watch. I'm not into that kind of television drama. So yeah, I would not read this book. I realize it says at the top, number one New York Times best-selling author of Memory Man. So apparently someone liked this book or liked one of his other books. A lot of people liked his other book and Awesome. I'm happy for them, but it's just not my thing. I wouldn't read it. The other two books I would possibly read. The book number one is called Brass, Brass, a novel, and it's by somebody whose name I cannot pronounce. This is a picture of the woman. Her name is Zenit. Aliu, A L I U. Um, this is the book in which the man is looking for his father and unfortunately is talking to another, probably a woman who is probably his relative, who is not able to connect him to his father at this time. So I just think from the just from the situation, I really care about families and healing family relationships. So I feel for the man, 
who cannot talk to his father. And I will read you a little bit about what this book is. A waitress at the Betsy Ross Diner, Elsie hopes her nickel and dime tips will add up to a new life. Then she meets Bashkum, who is at once both worldly and naive, a married man who left Albania to ch chase his dreams and round up, wound up working as a line cook in Waterbury, Connecticut. Back when the brass mills were still open, this bustling factory town drew one wave of immigrants after another. Now it's the place they can't seem to leave. Elsie herself, the granddaughter of Lithuanian immigrants, falls in love quickly, but when she learns that she's pregnant, Elsie cannot help wondering where Bashkim's heart really lies and what he'll do about the wife he left behind. So, Brass does sound kind of interesting. The other book also I was interested in, and it is called The Boat People by Sharon Bala, B-A-L-A. -A. Yes, we have a picture. That is the authoress, and she is a member of the Port Authority Writing Group, and her short fiction has been published in several Canadian magazines. The Boat People is her debut novel. Interesting, that's her de debut novel, and this also was a debut novel. So, what is this about? An extraordinary novel about a group of refugees who survive a perilous ocean voyage only to face accusations of terrorism in their new land. Well, I think either one of those novels would be good to read. Um, I'd probably start with this one because it did grab me emotionally with that man's desire to talk to his father. The other one is also quite interesting. When the rusty cargo ship carrying 500 refugees from Sri Lanka's bloody civil war reaches Vancouver Island's shores, Mahindan thinks he and his six-year-old son, Selian, can finally start a new life. Instead, Selian is ripped from his father's arms and Mahindan, along with his fellow refugees, is thrown into prison. So. I would definitely read this one. I'm not sure I'll get to it in 2018 because I have so many other books planned for my reading year, but I would find that very interesting. And I have special interest in law, so the fact that lawyers are involved would be a plus. So that's my first page 112 tag. Not sure when I'll be doing anything like that again. But it was fun. It's been real. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.